It's uh, page four of Kevin Haley's statement. There is so much about her I will never understand. I think she could be a wonderful person. I don't know what her problems are and why she's so bad about accusing people all the time. When I met her, she was flirtatious and I was 13 years older than she was. She was 20 years old and I was 33. I was single for nearly all my life and this was somebody who was hard to resist. I fought her for a long time and like any other human being, I just gave in. She would ask me if it was okay to do things after church and you know, I just wasn't into that kind of stuff. I just wasn't used to someone asking me to do that. Rita would ask me to do other things and I refused to do it. Once she asked me if I would have anal intercourse with her and I said no. She didn't mind where you were if she wanted to have sex with you. If you were driving down the road in a car, she would try to get into your pants. I don't know why she got this way. When I first met her, she was real sweet and just looked like, you know, a little angel. She was going to church, had a little baby, and looked so sweet. Then she got a job at a dress shop and came home. I will never forget it. She had on a flowered dress that was real short. She had her hair cut off real short and frosted. She said, what do you think? My gut feeling was, I said, you look like a whore. Judy couldn't, Rita couldn't keep a job. She would always wind up at Pizza Inn or restaurants. She could always find a job at restaurants, waiting tables. When she finally came down and got the rest of her stuff, it was September 1994. She gave me the other set of keys to the car and registration that I had mailed to her. And that was the last I heard from her. I thought that was just wonderful. Apparently it seems like she still has some problems and I'm really lucky I got out of it when I did. That's about all I got to say about it.